Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the scenic and historic Hotel Orloff here in Rural Retreat, Virginia. Um, it's Saturday, March 9th, 2024, a date which will live in wonderfulness because we received an AOK this morning from Charlton 66. And of course, whenever you get an AOK from Charlton 66, you know it's going to be filled with amazing, amazing stuff. And we're going to be taking a look at that stuff right now. So, come along with us, ladies and gentlemen. So, how are you guys doing on this wonderful Saturday? Pretty amazing, huh? Let's take a look what we got here. Oh, boy. So, stay. All right. Plugging in the phone. Don't want to turn it off. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay. Well, Charlton, of course, is a an incredible comic book company. They were, as a kid, they always seemed like kind of the cheap company because their printing was clearly a little bit inferior. But the older you get, you realize how great these books truly are. Um, I mean, look at this book. Can it get any better than that? The answer is no. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, this is one that I bought as a kid. Ghost the Manor. Okay, so. Hold on a second. If you're not safe in your homes, in your communities, in your schools, then you no, don't I shouldn't do that. Okay, so uh, let's see what what came in that package. I'm I'm moving stuff around these boxes to make things fit. Um, first book we have is Ghost Manor, number twenty-three. Visit Ghost Manor if you dare. Let's take a look at this book. We're waiting on a uh, Trump rally here. Tuned into Right Side Broadcasting Network. So how have you guys been doing, ladies and gentlemen? I haven't seen you since uh, the live stream I did that just ended about an hour and a half ago. Um, terrific stuff. It's, the story is called Terrible Teddy. Beautiful artwork. These are um, Charlton 66 is a major collector of Charlton, and uh, these are books that he had duplicates of that he sent me. Uh, this issue is. Uh, I had my, oh, there it is. My magnifying glass, which needs to be cleaned a little bit. This issue is uh, 25 cents, so it's going to be around 1975. Yes, May of 1975. 
May of 75, we were just about to move from San Antonio to um, Washington State. And of course, May of 75 was when Kolchak the Night Stalker was canceled and the Planet of the Apes TV series was canceled. A lot of uh, disillusionment. And as I moved to Washington State, to Tacoma, um, man, I got there, it was beautiful. Pine trees everywhere, sun. But then it turned out sun only shines for about three days in the summer, and then I never saw it again. It was raining all the time. My bike sat idle. I wasn't able to get out and ride my bike, and um, so I uh, watched a lot of television. They had some good television there in Tacoma, Washington. I really enjoyed J.P. Patches, the clown. A local clown kid show host that was fun but all right so ghost manor number 23 let's see what issues of ghost manor i have already ghost manor there's ghostly haunts ghostly tales ghostly haunts ghostly tales go oh. Here we go. This is the earliest ghost manor that I have already. Is number four. And then I have ghost manor number five. And I have. Wow. Ghost Manor 11. I'm just wowing over this great Ditko cover. Ghost Manor number 13. I have two copies of Ghost Manor 13. Um, 17. I learned the truth at 17. Here's uh, number 18. Okay. Now this was the first copy I bought as a kid. Number 19. This is my childhood copy. And uh, okay, then it then it goes to 68. So I have a few missing issues there. So now I have 23 that will go right here. Okay. Here's Ghostly Tales number 95. Now you can finish high school at home. The people here in Marjorie's home district love you. They're great. This is, I tell you what, we're right here in Rome. This is the town I Steve live in. Steve Ditko, man. And all these people here, I mean, this is all that they are. Uh, Sometimes you look at the Steve Ditko art and you think, what if Steve Ditko had just been treated a little bit better at Marvel? What if Steve Ditko in the 20 cent era was still drawing Spider-Man? You know, well, you can just imagine. But we have all this great art in, uh, well, this isn't Ditko here, but uh, it's great art. Um, Charlton really gets a bad rap because the art isn't that bad. Uh, one thing, no, well, it's, it's actually pretty good. The thing is, the, the printing can be a little wonky. The little things like these weird numbers that appear is just seem a little bit strange. And sometimes the comics don't seem to have the amount of gloss there, uh, that uh, you expect from the other companies. But um, the Charles comics are great. Okay, so that's Ghostly Tales, 95. All right, so let's see. What would I already have? <gasps> 
my oldest copy of Ghostly Tales. Man, I I can't see a number on it, but it's clearly, you know, it's a 12 center, so it's 60s. Um, this is 74. Here's 86. Eighty-nine. Okay, we're getting close. This is ninety-three. Okay, then we have one eleven. So ninety-five will go before that. Okay, here's Baron Werewolf's Haunted Library, number 29. And let's see what Baron Werewolf's already had. My oldest copy of Baron Werewolf's, oh, what a beautiful cover, number 22. This is a childhood copy, 31. Although 35 cents, was I still a child when the comics were 35 cents? Um, his ad's for six main dollars. Um, let me see when this comic came out. Nineteen seventy seven. Yeah, I was twelve. That would qualify as a child. Yeah. Indeed. That's thirty one. Oh. And this new one. This 29, that would go, that would go right in front of the one I just showed you. Let's open it up and take a look at it. There's all the uh, nice shirt designs you can get. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Beautiful artwork. Just beautiful. Look, look at the layout here. It's cool. Artist by Rich Larson. Oh boy, I hope that music's not setting off some copyright uh, problem. The music playing in the background of the Trump rally. Ugh, maybe I should turn the volume down a little bit. I'm recording this Trump rally, but, but that would really suck if music from Cats is what causes this program to be uploaded onto YouTube. Okay, Baron Werewolf. Now, next comic that was included in this package is The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves. And this is issue, I don't see a number on this one. Let's find, okay. So what I already have, I have the first issue of The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves. I think I showed this on a very recent episode, maybe one or two episodes back, I was going through Charlton books. Um, here's a modern comics reprint of number 12. And the, the, this is a reprint from 
the late 70s. So, okay. So that's 12. Let's open this up and see what number this one is. Okay. Where did I put that? I might have to off here. July 67. Oh, it's number two. Perfect. I have number one. And I have the second issue. That's fantastic. There he is selling ghostly tales at the back. It's beautiful. Now, the, this is going to give me some great reading this summer. Um, I retired and then was forced to go back to work. Although I enjoy it, but I wasn't planning on that. But, you know, Biden's wonderful. They were just talking on TV about a lot of people that can't retire, they have to keep working because of uh, this wonderful economy that they were talking about how great it was the other night. We just don't understand how great it is. We're just complaining about nothing. Okay, so that is number one. Then number two. What number is this one? Oh, it's number three. Maybe. I have, you know, this is going to complete. Um, or it may not complete my collection, but it's sure going to... I don't know if these books have ever been reprinted in any way. I kind of don't think so, but there's that 100 Toy Soldier ad. So this is going to be 1967. Here's all the uh, Charlton heroes that were turned into the Watchmen in the 80s. Um, DC bought the Charlton heroes in the 80s and um, but the, uh, they decided, no, let's not ruin them. I um, and anyway, recently there was a Peacemaker TV series and, uh, and Judo Master appeared in it. Um, it's Captain Adam, Peter Cannon, Thunderbolt. So, this is something, look, you, they have an ad for Marvel superhero posters in a Charlton comic. See, cool things like that pop up. You never know what you're going to see in a Charlton comic. And uh, remember when transistor radios were a status symbol? Um, I always like this ad. Play guitar in seven days. Beautiful. There's Dr. Graves. Okay. The name of the artist, Mastro Serio. I assume that's a pseudonym. I could be wrong. I've got a book on Charlton Comics history. I need to get back to reading that, then I wouldn't be making, I would be able to give you more ad accurate information. Um, here's number six. <sighs> back then, when I was a kid, I mean, you could you could learn about American history from toys. I mean, you'd get Revolutionary War soldiers, Civil War soldiers. Today, kids wouldn't be able to tell you the difference between the Civil War and the Revolutionary War. But back then, you know, we saw it on TV shows and movies. And, you know, they don't make many movies about those wars. Uh, anyway.
watching Right Side, and also if you can, I encourage you to please share us. So Whatever happened to reality? No, no, Right Side as well. The more the merrier. Yeah. That's a good question. It's my favorite time. I'm like, copy and paste this link, send it to all your friends, tell them President Trump is about to take the stage, and they need to Number vote. six. Number three, number six. Number seven. It'd be cool if I just have a complete set magically of these now. Now you can buy Ford, Chevrolets, Dodges below wholesale. Nineteen sixty five Ford where's five hundred eighty five dollars. Nineteen sixty five Chevrolet six hundred eighty five dollars. See, back then I, I know that adjusted for inflation that was a lot of money back then. But even so um, you um, back then a guy could work the 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 mom would take care of the kids, and you could have several cars and go on vacation. Now, uh, you know, both have to work. They have to put their kids in daycare. Um, it's a constant struggle, but there was a time when you could make it, and the American dream still existed, and we're just hoping that can come back, and that's why we watch these Trump rallies and stuff. Um, Liz and so bikers for Trump really showed out full force to support uh, not only President Trump, but also the first responders, the police officers, Secret Service, and say, hey, we're here, we're your backup. And so when I say they drove around the Lincoln Memorial, they drove So that's the number Lincoln, seven, said, you know, which would go after six. To the first responders. And, so, and then we have number nine. So I would still need to get a number eight. Build powerful muscles in only six seconds a day. Six seconds, that could be a slight exaggeration. Here's an ad, how sad for other horror comics from them. Great stuff. Um... When Charlton used this kind of lettering, I wasn't that big on that lettering. It kind of, and it's so small. Luckily, I have a magnifying glass. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, so that's number nine. Okay, so number seven, number nine. Here's number ten. Look at the beautiful coloring on the logo there. That's called a logo. That's not called trade dress. This is trade dress. The way, where the price is, where the... The name of the company, where you can immediately identify it as a Charlton or as a Marvel or DC, that's trade dress. Although that's a term um, that has just been people in collectors have started to use that term just recently because they sell comics without the you know any of that on them, and they say no trade dress, and that's. I guess a term used in the advertising industry, I've never heard it used, and I've studied advertising for years. They can make your astronaut tough. This is a great ad that ran unchanged for decades. This is almost the exact ad that Harvey Kurtzman made fun of on a cover of the early EC Mad. It's from Johnson Smith Company. Fantastic. A Canon, X-ray, I mean, it just, this is the classic one. 
They ran these. They ran those ads though all through the '70s. I don't know when they stopped doing it. I I wonder if Johnson Smith's still in uh, business. There's another company, Regency Mail Order. They had good ads too, especially like that one where he's just seeing the guy's skull. Um, this is a company that a that advertised more in the ACG comics. Look at that great! You can grow your own monsters. ACG had great ads in their uh, books. Um, just more great stuff. This one is, this is probably going to be from 68. Yeah, November 68. Oh, this is great. You got to see this. You get your uh, missile firing tank and skeleton, monster sized skeleton. And uh, what I would do for Zelensky is I'd photocopy this. Hey, order your tanks. They're $7. You can get some monster-sized skeletons to scare the Russians, and you can learn jujitsu. And or I'm sorry, not jujitsu, ketsugo. Unbeatable. And then you can just stop taking our billions of dollars and just defend yourself. Yes, ketsugo. Let's see what ketsugo. I haven't heard of ketsugo. The powerful choice secrets, powerful choice secrets of karate, Aikido, Atewaza, Judo, Yawara, Jiu-Jitsu, Sabate. Reduce any assailant, <laughs> this is great. Reduce any assailant to cringing helplessness in seconds. Learn by yourself in just one week. No matter how small you are, you can walk with confidence. Fear no man. Kitsugo is the concentrated best tricks of unarmed self-defense. So simply and clearly written and illustrated, you will grasp the ideas in seconds and be ready for action in minutes. Shipped in plain wrapper from Honor House. And this cardboard tank here. Imagine your thrill when you get inside this authentic replica of the mighty General Sherman tank and charge forward to adventure. This six-foot hunk of equipment is so realistic with its mighty cannon and rocket launchers, swiveling machine guns, simulated treads, and other authentic tank features that it's bound to bring shouts of delight from any young warrior. And when you get a pal, and, and when you and a pal get right down into the fully equipped control room and close, close the cockpit cover, you can bet you are using your tremendous firepower to devastate every imaginary enemy in your path. Yeah, those imaginary enemies. Oh my gosh. No chill like the touch of the hand. Isn't that like a common expression now, like an urban, like no chill, isn't that a, an urban? I'm starting, there's, I am uh, learning some of this urban, like uh, there's an, uh, and it's like now the people are saying no cap, no cap. That means no lie, no, no BS, no cap. And what's another one? I, I um, like if you if you if you betray someone or, or trick them, you you say you finessed me. You heard that? That's a finesse. That's that's no fair. That's a finesse. Ten. Okay, nine, ten. Okay, so here's 12. So that's the fake 12 of modern comics. Let's see if I have an 11. Oh, no, here's the next one is a 16. So let's see what I've got. I got 12. Oh, I already had a 14. And. Oh, I have a 17, so now this 16 is going to go in front of the 17. This is one of the ones sent to me today. Look, you, know what? you can win in a $1,000 college scholarship here, ladies and gentlemen. Hanged about. 
Okay, come on, the village people, seriously, that's what's going to get me a copyright claim. There's tons of Steve Ditko, Steve Ditko work for this company, like, uh, a lot. Uh, the, the sofa's shaking. I have this mount, this, uh, on... Number 16. <laughs> okay, that's 16. 17. Then the next one I have here is number 25, which is a modern comics reprint. Which one is this? Okay, here's 18. A new one I got today. They're going to play that I'm Proud to Be in an America song, and it's going to get me a copyright claim. So i got to turn the sound down. So they always play that when he comes out on stage. I don't think the National Anthem is going to get you a copyright uh, claim. This is beautiful. These are beautiful copies of these books, man. I'll turn the sound back up in a second. Okay. Okay. This is twenty three. What are we working up to? 25. Okay, then I've got 26, okay. See, they're absolutely certain that if you're reading this comic book, that uh, not only are you not in college, but you're probably having trouble finishing high school. There's also a Polaris nuclear sub you could get for seven dollars. Um, see, this is an example of what I see. The sometimes the pages would be printed a little bit off. That's um, in these Charlton books, but. Uh, Okay, Trump is taking the stage, I can see. Uh-oh. There's a little... If I was Jerry the Jitterbug, I could probably reattach this. There's a little piece of paper that was up here. I'll just put it there. That's just uh, part of the age of the book. So Trump is in Rome, Georgia. I believe Biden was in Atlanta, Georgia today. I'd be very interested to see the uh, difference in the crowd from one rally to the other. But 
I'm sure you'll see comparisons pretty soon. Not in the normal media, but the abnormal media that I watch, I'm sure will show that. Okay, so 23, then 25. Oh, the next one I've got in this uh, box. This is the very first copy of this comic I ever bought as a kid. This one I bought off the stands, and this is number 41. And it's a 20 cent comic. So I probably bought that in third grade. We're getting up to that point. That one, that, then this is the modern comics reprint of number 25, which is uh, printed just like the original, except it has it had new ads in it, you know, 70s ads, and instead of 12 cents, it says 35 cents, and of course it says modern comics. Um, so, oh, Trump's talking. Now I can turn it up because they won't be playing that music. I'm on. I mean, I'm all for everybody. I'm for the worker. But unions, they should endure struggle because I'm closing. Okay, the well, here's uh, 26. You're going to come into our country. You're coming in legally. You're going to come into our country legally. In February alone, nearly one million jobs held by native born Americans disappeared. There's the Finnish high school ad again. We lost a million jobs. Black people. Beautiful art work. That's who lost the jobs. Hispanic people. That's who lost the jobs. You can, That's uh, why we just had a poll come you out. You can learn to draw comics. It is great relative. You know, a guy as stiff like Mitt Romney, I think he had 4% of the black vote. I had, as of this poll today, Marjorie, 28%. If that's the case, this election is over. That's the case. If that's the case, I'll, I'll ask some of our great Congress people. Yeah, it's, a, it's not going to be Biden running. It's uh, Biden's going to step down or be removed from what I understand around summertime. And then they're either going to put up Michelle Obama or some who knows who they'll put up. So, um, This is uh, 26, so I did more that goes there than any president other than Abraham Lincoln. Think of it, criminal justice reform. I took care of the black colleges and universities. They would come up to Washington for every three years. I said, why do you guys keep... Okay, going? let's see what's going on in issue 27 of the Mini Ghosts of Dr. Graves. I don't know why it is when I open comics, I always open them from the back. Perhaps I was a Japanese person in a past life. I'm used to reading. It's, I've done it since I was a kid. I always open from the back. I, I don't know why I do that. I mean, I, I'm right-handed, but I tend to hold the comic like so. And I flip the pages. I mean, I guess I could do this. I could hold it with my left hand and flip through with my right hand. I guess that would be more logical for a right-handed person, but I just don't do it that way. Opportunity zones. Tim, does everybody know? Tim Scott. Great. So, I shouldn't say. He'll get angry, but I tell him this all the time. I wonder if Tim Scott will be the vice presidential choice. Vivek Ramaswamy, we would just, it's, uh, who knows, this is 27, okay, that goes there, the next one that was sent today in the box is number 29, this comic is very heavily Steve Ditko, um, you can break into computer programming. Number 29, we're in the 20 cent era now. Um, Those were false reports. Great comprehension. Always had great comprehension. Great memory. Can you beat the brain buster? The great thing about one of the only good things about the internet. 
that you press a button and it gives you the whole history of some guy. But they're all calling me. Military Jim. men, your they're credit is Jim. good. Get, I'll give you names. I'd love to this is. Um, but I'll give you names if you wouldn't believe. Military Stop. diamond sales. An insurrectionist. Then two weeks later, Sue, I'd love to be part of your campaign. I think I could write out. These are three people. So I need 90 percent of them. We won't take back. If you have bad credit in the military, I think that it creates big problems uh, for you with your uh, higher-ups, is my understanding. 29. Okay. 29. 30. You know, I have to explain to the audience, because you might figure what the hell. It's a Saturday afternoon. We have a little time. You know where I'm going later? I'm going to the UFC fights. You know why? You know why? It's the closest thing I can see that's uh, really reflective of the election process that we have in this country. The These UFC. are all very, that may be a little very in the election business, right? Uh, the good UFC condition, uh, better than yeah. good condition. These are all very, you know, you, you don't see Charlton books in this good a condition very often. Ooh, they have a record. I don't remember seeing one of these record, uh, record and eight track uh, ads in a uh, Charlton book. What was big then? The Raiders Indian Reservation. Yeah. The Osmond, Chicago, Carpenters, for all we know, rainy days and Mondays. If we don't win this election, it is, I don't think it can ever come back. It's never going to come back. It's too much, too much. But we have tremendous people in the country, tremendous spirit. As I said, it's the greatest spirit I've ever seen. And I've done it. This is my third time. I'm going to have to win it three times. Three times. Amazing. We're going to turn it around. 30. And we will cancel Biden's work permits for illegals and protect American jobs. 31. Workers. We will immediately end Biden's war on American energy and we will end his inflation catastrophe. Yeah, what time is and it? It's 6. Drill, baby, drill. Almost 6 o'clock. Tonight the clocks get moved forward an hour in case you've forgotten. Um, so... Tomorrow it will be almost seven at this time. Yeah, summer is it's not even spring yet, but I'm already ready for summer. Um, when does when's the first day of spring? I don't know. Um, he just said the S word. Can you believe it? How shocking. Because we get so much television coverage. And look at the size. There's never been rallies like this. You know, we get, I had 100,000, 105,000 people. Okay. If we wanted a much bigger room than this, this is the biggest room you can get. Nine. They didn't want to have rain or you 30, know, 30, people outside that wanted to get in. But we had, but every place is, is packed. The problem is, I've got front row jurors over here. Here's 32. The most beautiful women in the world, in my opinion, from North Carolina, these these 40 incredible women, and they come to so many shows. They're up to 117. I won't even tell you how many front row. Front row shows like up to close to 200. And here's the problem. I feel I have an obligation to the super fans. So Charlton I'm is a happening. You ever notice they're never really the same. So that, happening was a... Uh, 60s expression, but we're already into the 70s here. Look, the Donny Osmond album, Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, Partridge Family. How about that? He can't get himself into any trouble. Do you know people like that, Jim? Yeah. He said, yeah, too many, most of them. But we have to, we have to give a little action for these people. This is, so um, some stories tonight. Because we have to do that. But they'll say, oh, he was wondering. He must be cognitive. June 72. Oh, I'd like to see these that is uh, the summer before my second grade year. Yeah. We, were, we had just moved to Hampton, Virginia at the time that this comic came out. It is time for Joe Biden and myself to debate. 32. It's for the good of our nation. 
Ooh, this is a great one. 36. I say that for another reason because I saw in the Washington Post today, the Washington Post, uh, what a terrible thing. The good news is losing so Look much that. money that even a rich person isn't that stupid that they're going to keep it going. But the Washington <sighs> Post, some real lightweight journalist, quote, journalist. Oh, my so, gosh. Look at the printing on this ad here. Look at how scary their faces look. The, some of these, uh, I saw this ad in another Charlton book, and there were black spots all over their faces from the printing process, and they're trying to advertise a way to get rid of blackheads. It looked like they had more of them. So here it looks like they got some white out, and they colored their faces in like clowns to cover up those black dots. So they look like they're from the cast of Dawn of the Dead. Here's, uh, here's all the horror titles that were coming out. It was, uh, the market was very dominated at all the companies, DC, Marvel, with horror comics. There were just tons of them coming out in the early 70s because the comics code uh, had been relaxed and it was allowing more... Uh, you to have more uh, horror kind of stuff in comics, so everybody was cranking out lots of horror titles. This is uh, especially the logo looks especially great on this issue, just the colors and everything. Fantastic. I'm supposed to go get some dinner for my wife at... No, I'm supposed to wait till 7.30 to get it. That's right. 36. As an example, you read about this. Can you believe this? Sometimes it's not good to be rich. I just posted a 91 million dollar bond 91 million on a fake story totally made up story 37 think of it 91 million you could say things about what it would cost normally 91 million based on false accusations made it's a very 70s woman looking woman cover that i knew nothing about didn't know mm. never heard of i know nothing about her she wrote a book she said things and when i denied it i said it's so crazy it's false I got sued for defamation. That's where it starts. And this is Democrat operatives. These are all her lawyers, a big Democrat operative. The judge was a disaster. The Democrat operatives funding and directing her. They gave her the money to, to pursue the case. They changed the law. New York is a very corrupt place. <sighs> Second. And this is killing New York because companies um, do because they don't want to in this uh, uh, They changed the law. That allowed, allowed women to go back, like, unlimited. Unlimited. And she went back and she said, yeah, I was uh, mid-90s, I don't know. I had no idea. Uh, she went in with a security case. She went in with a security case and was getting all these wonderful things. And then she was a police officer. Oh, boy. Second, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to wait till 7.30. Um, mm. 
companies don't want to go to New York anymore. You watch the impact this okay. has. Arthur and Gorin, I got fined. Listen to this one. $255 million for having yeah. done absolutely nothing wrong. It was, I did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. And it was proven. Okay. And it was proven. He even claimed that magnificent Mar-a-Lago, Palm Beach is in a different stratosphere from other... Number 42. Mar-a-Lago is the biggest, the best in the country, maybe in the world. Magnificent Mar-a-Lago is worth 18 million We're almost dollars. done with the pile. He knows it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 And then the one I'm working up to is... For his false and oh. Fake decision. Yeah, the one that I, I got as a kid is number 41. So this one will go after that. And the next one I have is... 49. So. Who, by the way, is now being booed and heckled all over New York because they know it's a scam. Um, but he did exactly what this racist, horrible human being told him to do. You know, she sued for $250 million. So. Nobody. Then she went in later on after losing every point. She said, we won 350 he said, no, we'll give it to you. This is unbelievable. Over nothing. Over nothing. Yeah. And the business community is up and on. It's great so stuff, man. It. Incredible. Incredible fun. Look at Trump. And just as an example, I bought Sorry, the dog's money. moving the camera. I paid the bank back. It was never a default, never a problem. Never a problem. I didn't even want to money. The bank wanted me to have money because that's what they do. They loan money. A small amount, much smaller than the amount you're talking about the fine. I bought it, I paid it back. I paid it back early, actually, because I didn't... Um, okay, so that's 42. I had to pay a penalty for paying it back early. How about that? Okay, I paid a penalty. For one for each. I paid it back early. They didn't want the money. Guys. Anyway... Here's 44. The bank crashed. But the banker testified. No, the loan was perfect. You don't know what he didn't even know what, we, what he was doing there. Oh, come on. Drew the dog is, is causing all kinds of disruption with the camera. She's, she's my cameraman. So. Curse of the Vampire. There was no jury. It was a statute that I was sued under that was never used before. It was a consumer fraud statute. Never, ever used before. Did you know that? Never used. It only the first time. Well, you're not allowed juries, you're not allowed anything. It was in the sole discretion of the judge. And, this and uh, the by the way, we're uh, still in the 20 cent era. So this one is um, January of 74. So this is, I'm, in, I'm still in third grade, middle of third grade when this one came out. It's a good time for comics. So. And that Let's say. Uh, Notice is there's no UPC code and yet and on the comic. That is kind of like the beginning of the end. Woman named 42, 44. Okay, the next one we're building up to is 49. Will this you next one be... Oh, stop moving now, the camera. Even it's I believe it's this F one is 45. To my way of thinking, that's Fanny. Once you became the district attorney, I think she put a little emphasis on the you. Bonnie. Never finished high school. So corrupt Bonnie Willis hired her lover, Nathan Wade, so they could fraudulently make money together. Let's make money, darling. Let's see. Who can we go after? Well, Let's we see. Go after somebody that nobody ever heard of. The before. sacred cat of sex. Let's do what Joe Biden and everybody else want. Let's go after Trump. The... One book that the reason I got up a second ago and washed my hands, there was one book that was, um, the girl had the bare midriff. It had a couple of spots of mold on it. And I don't know how, I thought maybe I better wash my hands because I, I, I don't know anything about mold. Um, I probably want to separate it from the other books. I think, can you put the book in a refrigerator? And Because there were a couple of little black dots. You could tell where water had gotten on the comic, and there were a couple of black dots. How do you kill those black dots? That's a question for Jerry the Jitterbug, or, or someone that... Um, 
Yeah, because I once found a comic and showed it to the store owner and said, look, this is autographed by Clive Barker, but look, it's got some mold on it. And it's like he's, his eyes turned to dollar signs, and then he's like, oh, well. Um, because I guess it spreads. Is that how it works? So I... Uh, you tell me, is our country's good? I looked it up on my phone, and I saw that you could, they like, put it in a refrigerator. I think that's what I saw. But I, you know, it's not, I wasn't interested in the comic. I don't, I guess Clive Barker's all right. I'm not, I'm not after his autograph. I could care less. The comics he did, I don't think of anything. To write home about, 44, 45, friend of mine. Worked with Clive Barker in Hollywood on some of his movies. I don't know which ones, but said he was a nice guy. But what do I know? What do I know? Okay, so that's 44, 45, and I'm going up to 49, and this one is 46. I don't think there's many people in the United States that have this many, many ghosts of Dr. Graves comics, except for Charlton 66, and now me, now that I have spare copies that he had, um, I, I, can you think, does anyone have like a run of this magnitude? This is a book that uh, Charlton used to sell. Um, they give it to you if you got any, if you subscribe to any book. They give you this um, comic book guide for the artist, writer, and letterer. 32 pages, digest size. I've never seen a copy of that. Maybe you have. Maybe you have a copy. It's, I bet that's an interesting book. Um, it seems like that's something. Remember Silver Age Dave? It seems like that was something he had. I really miss him on... YouTube. I, he's been gone for over a year. Um, 46. 49. Okay, and this is the last copy of Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves that I got, and it's number 48, so... she's taking money because she was a part of the trip, and the trips cost a lot of money, and they won on so many of them, it was so romantic, a beautiful thing to watch, right? Okay. Nobody knew she was away for most of the time, and they went after me, but just think of it. Look, giant seven foot tall, you can become a monster robot. Look how you control the monster robot from inside. That's pretty cool. Okay, so my disc just ended, so I'm going to finalize it. I've been recording it since the live stream started, and now it's been over six hours, and the disc just ran out in the middle of his speech. So I'm going to rewind the live stream to the beginning of his speech and start recording it on another disc. i got to do it now because if I wait till tomorrow to record this speech, it'll be filled with commercials. YouTube will... We'll have commercials every few minutes in it. Well, that's how they, that's what they do. And they're getting worse with the commercials. They're starting to put two commercials in front of every video that I watch. And, uh, okay, so that's 48. 46, 48, and then 49, and then I'll go and show you the rest of the ones I've got. Uh, here's 61, and then here's 62. I don't know when the series ended. Okay, and here's some more books that were sent. Okay, so sent me a copy of Doomsday Plus One, Number One, which I thought I had, but what I have is Doomsday Plus One, Number Seven that reprints this issue. So they they get six issues and they just start over again. So this is the first issue. This is a this is a very well written comic and uh, I remember enjoying this. But I, 
And it's... Um, and then they came in and they said, these charges are... It's busted. early John Byrne art. And he quit in a huff. And he wrote a book about it before um, the case was even determined. He wrote a book. I don't know if John Byrne wrote it. I kind of doubt it because I remember it being good. July 1975. So that, right about July 1975, I'm um, heading from San Antonio to Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. Showing the nuclear war here. Okay. So that disc is finalized. Um, she's controlled. Okay. She's controlled. Did you ever see the pictures of her campaigning? I will get Donald Trump just before she knows anything about me. She's gonna, she's Doomsday a plus one. She's Let's see how one. many of these Donald Doomsday Trump. plus one books I've got. I will get him. I will get you, you son of a bitch. I will get him. I'm going to get him. Okay. I don't have number two. I have number three. I have number. No, I have. I oh, I have two copies of number three, and then I have uh, number five. They say that it's violent. The attacks and Biden said it. He said. Oh, that's. I have number eight. It was leaked. Okay, let's put number seven back, which I probably have between, I probably have all of them if you count the, uh, the reprints. There's ten. And then, okay. Um, yeah, this is probably a reprint that, re this is, this comic probably reprints, it says featuring classic art by John Byrne, because by then John Byrne had become a big name on the X-Men, so they were reprinting it. Okay, so that's all the Charlton books I got, but he sent other books. Um, this is uh, Iron Man 34, also sent in this package today. So, this is a very nice copy of this. Mighty Marvel is on the move again. Everybody was afraid of Scarface, but Scarface um, different kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic because we're so poor. We're really not doing well. I mean, it looks like we live in the big place. We do live in a big place, but trust me, it's not in great condition, and we can barely afford to get by. And so when someone sends me all these comics, trust me, it's very appreciated and... It's just, it's just so wonderful. It's great to have these friends all over the country. And just amazing. Um, just incredible. So thank you. Um, thank you, Steve, for all this uh, cool stuff. It's like a Christmas morning. Um, what they should do they should spend their time going so this is like an early birthday present my birthday is next month and this is like i already have my birthday um i'm for my birthday um, i'm i'm gonna get some books from captain strange life that he's selling and um, let's get some stuff from gotham city comics in mesa arizona he's got a big hold pile that's <laughs> calling my name and uh, this is uh these books mean a lot to me these house of mystery books with dial h for hero because my older brothers were born in the 50s and i was born in 1965 years later and they collected comics they collected tonka trucks those never got to me there were the aurora race car set that got to me and some things were handed down to me, but somehow the comics disappeared and were never got to me. And this is in great condition. This looks like it came out <laughs> last Wednesday. Um, anyway, my old brother Mike said his 
you know, I asked him, what comics did you have? And he said uh, he was really proud that he had every ish issue of Dial H for Hero. And so in the late 70s, when Lone Star Comics opened, I was in there all the time looking for issues. And it turned out it wasn't called Dial H for Hero. It was just a feature in-house of mystery. And um, so I was able to track down a bunch of them. But I didn't. I never got this issue. This guy looks like Batman, but has a a drill on his head. <laughs> um, readers would send in these ideas for costumes for for uh, different superheroes, and then they would use them and give the kids credit. I don't know if they would uh, pay them. I don't remember. Should be in the yeah. See these slot cars were real big in the sixties. Um, so anyway, I I was a baby learning to walk when my brother had this comic. It's yeah, it's got a slight like subscription crease. That's probably what that is. That's a pretty cool kid that had a subscription to House of Mystery. Um, and it's got uh, Manhunter from Mars in the back and his little sidekick. It's just so great. So, this is House of Mystery number 156. So, just incredible. And, I already showed you the Iron Man, right? Okay, so that's, that's all for this uh, haul. Um, so now I've got two boxes of uh, Charlton's here. Charlton Comics Box 1 and Charlton Comics Box 2. That's the extent of my Charlton collection. That's kind of pathetic, isn't it? But, um... Okay, so I've got to, uh... Got to continue on with my recording here of uh, Donald Trump. Over there. Nobody knows. Okay, so. But he should be attacking inflation, or when you think of it, think inflation the wouldn't have happened. The attack on Israel wouldn't have happened. The what is today? The ninth. Ukraine with Russia. Sorry, right. Ukraine would have Trump never happened. Everything in Georgia. Biden touches turns to shit. Everything. March. He's cursing a lot tonight. I love it. Even though that's naughty. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you try that at home. Don't say words like that. I tried. I tried finding a different word, but... There are some words that cannot be duplicated. But it's true. Everything he touches, all of this persecution is only happening... Because I am running for president okay. and leading big in all of the polls, every poll. In the big That's true. They wouldn't have filed any of these charges if he wasn't eight. running. It's 100% true. Okay, let's rewind to the beginning of the speech. Let's see. We're going back uh, 27 minutes, 30 minutes, 33. Man, he's been talking a while. Uh, isn't part of the repertoire. Okay. I'll just start Once here. Again, plan for the crowd here okay. in the center. Georgia is cross country, they say. So, is it still recording? What can I show you? What can we uh, look at here since we're... We're still going at an hour and nine minutes and 18 seconds. What can I show you? We'll just walk around. I got this uh, at Dollar General for like a less than a dollar after Valentine's Day was over. It looks very classy up here next to Zol Zoltan. Um, here's my childhood puppet of the ranger from Yogi Bear. It's Hawkman. 
What else would you like to see? Here's a uh, the lawgiver. And there's a uh, I don't know if this is Cleopatra or just probably or uh, just some. Oh, it says low battery. Um, let's go outside and see what's what's going on. Oh, oh we got to turn the clock forward, too. Sometimes there's beautiful sunsets here in rural retreat, Virginia. Oh, look. The tree's starting to blossom. Maybe it is spring. Look at that. Even though it was snowing yesterday, the tree is blossoming. And uh, we've got some gra green grass sprouting. And, um, yeah, we'll still get some more cold weather, trust me. But that's cool. That's, I just noticed that. It's like Bill Kane drew you. I got a warning. They only have 10% battery. What do you think about that, Drew? 10% battery. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Let me move these comic books over here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the hardly and unfairly treated January 6th prostitutes. <laughs> this really is brilliant. Um, because it's almost like this is... Uh, the Democrats are so stupid that what Trump's doing is almost like a parody that and it gets them so mad. But anyone that has any common sense listens to it and it's funny. What they, I don't know if you just heard what they said. It's like it's so because he's poking and prodding and getting them so incredibly mad. Uh, it's. Uh, it's really quite remarkable. Boy, I can't believe we've gotten almost to an hour and 15 minutes with the limited memory on this phone. Um, incredible. Um, Man, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. Um, except, I, actually, I guess I can end the episode without being interrupted. Middle, middle sentence, uh, middle of a sentence. So um, I'll see you soon. 
I'm off for the next week, so I'll do another show tomorrow. Um, stick around, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.